Loves, it's Sade. And Brian. With Love on Six, and we are finally doing the Q&A video that uh, a lot of our subscribers have been wanting us to do. And because we just recently hit 200 subscribers, we are so freaking excited. So what better time to do the Q&A than now? That's weird. I can't believe 200 people actually like to watch it. I know, it's crazy. And maybe those 200 don't even watch it. They just don't even know they subscribe to it. Don't. They just clicked it on accident. They just clicked on accident. There's probably like 10 people that actually like to see it. <laughs> well, we're going to go ahead and get started with the question. Well, um, the first question is from Warren. It said, so Warren. Oh my gosh. It said, how did you come up with your YouTube name? So, Love on Six, basically, Sixth Street is where me and Brian met. Um, it's a party street in Austin, Texas, where a lot of the college kids go. From UT? Yeah, from UT to party and have a good time. It's just the whole strip. They, uh, they shut it down at sure. night, so you can walk through the street or whatever like that. And there was an event, it's a lot of events held in Austin, but that certain event that we went to was South by Southwest. It's one of the biggest music festivals in That's the That's not where we met. We met at the Texas. Oh my community. god! <laughs> wow. Really? It wasn't South by Southwest. I'm sorry. We go to South by Southwest a lot. I'm it sorry. Was the Texas Relays. It was the Texas Relays. And the Texas Relays is when a whole bunch of um, schools and stuff uh, come to Austin, Texas for track meet. A, big, a huge track meet. But no one really goes to the track meet, they go to party. So, um, People do go to the track meet. It's actually pretty cool. I'm just saying. Well, I didn't go. But yeah, that's how we came up with our name. Um, and we also we go there pretty often, every now and then. Um, one of our vlogs, uh, running through the six with the little woe. That's when we were in Austin on Sixth Street. So that's when we got Love on Six. Shout out to Austin. Yeah, shout out to Austin. Okay. Um, his next question. He gave you a few questions. His next question is, uh, when and where did y'all get married? Our anniversary is actually coming up. Our anniversary is July twenty eighth. Uh, we got, got married. Go. Go. No, we got married. married. In 2012, 2012, July 28th. Actually, let me tell y'all something. It's not even July 28th. It's July 26th because the marriage license was signed before we even got married. That's true. The so. day that the ceremony was was July 28th. But it was signed, all the documents and stuff was signed July 26th. Yes, but our actual so wedding. So pick your date. So yeah, so we were actually legally married July, July 26th. 26th, but our wedding day was July 28th. Yeah. And we got married um, downtown outside we were, of the San Antonio Courthouse in front of the San Anthony Cathedral. We were planning a whole big, um, you know, wedding reception, like normal stuff, but it just got to a point where it was going to get so expensive. You know, yeah. Like, yeah with the guests that I, so I have family all over, so I wanted a lot of family to come down and enjoy it. I didn't want to have the family pay for hotel, pay for rental cars, so we was going to put all that in our expenses. And at, at a certain point, it just became too much. It was kind of like, let's just do something chill with we'll our family, with we'll our friends. And, yeah, like and even though we wanted, you know, family and stuff to be there, we had to remember that this day was about us. And, uh, you know, we've been to a lot of nice weddings that are like, the whole shebang and they're yeah, really no. nice, but we really genuinely had a great time at yeah, our we wedding. Did. I mean, we just had a little ceremony, friends, family. We went out to eat and we party. And then after that, we went to the bar. She had a wedding dress yeah. on. You know, I had on my my little shirt and tie, and we had our good our, our closest friends with us. Yeah. You know, I mean, that was the times when you you really realize who's close to you and who's not. I had some friends that I thought were my friends, and they didn't even show up because they had other priorities. So it is what it is. And that'll be another video. <laughs> okay, the next uh, question is, what is y'all's dream vacation? Dream vacation? Like together? No, together. Oh, never mind. You always trying to take a boys trip. Never mind. Never. Our dream vacation is to go to, where do we want to go? My dream vacation? Like together where I want to take you? Bora Bora. Yeah, that's Bora, where we wanted to go for our, for our honeymoon. But Bora like Bora is expensive. It's 2000 something like 2500 A just, night. Night. And that's not even airfare. Because I want to wake up and I want to see the fishes under my feet. You know? Yeah. That's how I want to wake up. It just I looks wanna, so beautiful. I want to I wanna wake up and I see Nemo like looking for his dad. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so if any of y'all have like the hookup on Bora Bora vacation oh, yeah. packages, go nice. ahead and let us know in the, the comments nice. below. Uh, his next question, this is Warren's last question. What is y'all's most embarrassing moment? I guess together. Together? 
We were. Oh we man, had hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got things. Hey, let's come back to that one. Okay, we'll come back to that, that one. I'll think about that one. Okay. Um, uh, one of our subscribers, Mia, asked, uh, "What is y'all's game plan on being a stay-at-home mom? Are you scared to embark on this journey?" I'm scared to embark on this journey because, I mean, it's hard, man. Going it's a from big a two, deal. A two-income family to just one. I don't make the most money, man. So it's gonna it's gonna be pretty hard. I it's mean, gonna be tight. But I see it as a great opportunity for her to bond better with the kids, and you know, Jason going to pre-K. That's only half a day, and the daycare that he's in now, man. I love that daycare so much. But even if he was to go to outside pre-K, they wouldn't pick him up, being that they offer pre-K at that daycare. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean, it'll help. If she did. I have a job and you know we can afford a maid and all that but I mean it's just not the way it is for us right now so yeah. it is what it is and even though I've, I've always worked um but I'm really looking forward to being able to bond with the kids because what mom doesn't want to be able to raise her own babies especially at this age like you never get these moments back with them but at the same time that's not the that's not the age that we that's not the day that we live in you know what I'm saying I mean yeah nowadays I mean, it's good. I mean, all the working moms that are out there and still come home, she was doing it. Mm -hmm. If you a working mom and you still come home, you still cook, you still clean, you take care of your kids, I mean, it's a team effort. So, I mean, she wasn't the only one doing it with the both of us. But, yeah. I mean, either way, it's going to be hard whether you're working because you're going to win. you winning and losing either way. So, yeah, that's true. I mean, either way, if you're working, you're losing time with your kids. If, you, if you're not working, you're losing out on money. But because we have this opportunity for me to be able to stay home with the kids, I'm really looking forward to being able to, you know, teach Jason some more. Opportunity to be broke. Oh my God. I'll be able to teach, you know, Jason, you know, more, get him, continue to get him ready for um, school and kindergarten when it comes up. It's scary, man. Especially as a man. She doesn't understand that every man, you know, every man wants to support to the fullest for his family. I mean, that's my goal. You know, every time I go to work, that, that's what's on my mind to provide for my kids, provide for my wife. You know, it's not a good feeling when you have to say no to your family. You yeah. know, that's what I don't like. But, you know, we have to budget. We have to really sit down and look at bills. And be like, okay, this is where we can stretch this month. This is where we can't. We just really have to be on a set budget to make sure. And, you know, I have other endeavors or whatever you want to call it that I'm going to be trying to do. You know, I, I do this YouTube. I just started my blog channel. Um, I'm doing a t-shirt, so I'm, I'm... She's gonna be doing clinical trials, medical clini clinical he's trying to, trials. He's trying to change me to like a donkey or something, Yo, but also I'm gonna a, be... If you gotta take a pill, and 20 years down the road you turn into an octopus, yo, that two thousand. Well, how about you that take it? How about you take a pill? But anyway, like I was saying, I'm, working. I'm gonna, I also um, build websites, so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of that, and then um, in the future I'm supposed to be... Um, Starting because I used to be a fitness trainer. I'm still certified, but I'm gonna start um, teaching like you know like hip hop, dance, fitness classes. So it's it's gonna be little things that I that I do that's gonna help as far as like spending money. Honestly, so I think that'll be. I think we'll be okay. It's gonna be different and it's gonna be an adjustment, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah. Okay. And um. Okay. Are you scared to embark on this journey? Yeah. I'm, he already answered it, but. Uh, I am nervous about it because I've never been with my kids 24-7 and that's sad to say like I've never been with them 24-7 so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it how they're gonna feel about it so I'm just I'm hoping that it's gonna be adjustment for all of us but I think we'll, we'll get you know used to it and we don't really have no choice yeah we're gonna have to go through it scared or not it is what it is uh, we gotta eat ramen noodles every day why are you making it sound like we just dirt poor <laughs> okay, and her second question was, it seems uh, you two make things work smoothly. Any advice for young couples? What? Let me tell y'all something. YouTube is like only a periscope a, or a telescope, a little tunnel vision of Where we go. 10 to 20 minutes hey, I'm gonna tell right of now. what it's happens smooth. in our lives. It's and smooth. You know what, to be honest with you, it's not bad. Sade, she, she's a great person, you know. We have fun, we get to laugh. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> what makes me, what makes it work, her being my wife, is that she lets me be who I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm not one of those chicks um, that's like, oh, you can't go hang out with your boys, you can't go out, you can't And it's not about just that. the hanging out, it's just about me being I just, myself. Yeah. I do 
you gotta have a woman that supports you and you know I don't know if this is too much information for you two but you know when I got out of the military yo it was super rough like I've anybody that watches this and that's our closest friends they know like yo Brian had a different job every three to six months like it was hard contracting jobs here contracting jobs there and this is the first job that is actually pretty cool Kevin Gates that's his name yesterday what Kevin Gates and I was like he has like Six jobs, you don't get tired. Oh, it's Kevin Gates. Yeah. <laughs> when you were talking about all the jobs, I've had a lot I of jobs. I've been out of the military, I had a lot of jobs. This is the first job where I feel like I actually have the support that I need from my superiors at work and you know they're gonna give me the tools to actually get to where I wanna be. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be there for a little bit. Like I said, I don't make the most money right now, but I feel like it's definitely coming. Yeah. One day. One day. But it's back to the question, as far as you know making it work smoothly like I said you only see like a small amount of our life and I honestly like you have seen us bicker like you know playfully back and forth or whatever like that but I choose not to show our like argument arguments on YouTube because that's just a personal preference of mine like even though we are showing you guys our life we still need privacy yeah we still need privacy and like, don't ever think like we husband and wife and it's cool it's smooth now but when we were boyfriend and girlfriend, yo, I was a, uh, I was a wild boy. Woof, woof. <laughs> I was a wild boy, man. I did, I did a lot of dumb stuff, man. I did a lot of dumb stuff. But I grew up, you know, I'm a husband now, and I try to do, um, I wasn't the greatest boyfriend, but I'm striving to be a great husband. So and honestly, like, that's like the truest thing he's ever said because, you know, he may not have been a great boyfriend, and I wasn't a great girlfriend either, but. What the hell you mean you wasn't a great girlfriend? Like, as far as like our relationship. Oh. You just tell all your business. I'm not telling my business. All your all business. That. I didn't go into detail. But anyway. I didn't tell them about that one time I came, uh, that I swiped my Visa card and was in that girl with you. <laughs> lying. Or, or you. Or not. Nah. But or anyway. You. Or you. But anyway, um, yeah, we weren't the perfect, like, boyfriend and girlfriend. We went through so much. You know, we had Jason. Our, our relationship was so whirlwind, like, we met each other, three months later we were living together, a year later I got pregnant with Jason, we didn't, at that point we didn't know if we wanted to be together, but we sat down, we and went And going through, as a man, going through all the stuff he was going through. Work, yeah, we didn't know like what we were going to do, and, but Brian really stepped up. He put his emotions to the side, I put my emotions to the side, and we decided to try to make it Tell work. Tell right now, if it wasn't possible. for that trip to Padre in 2011, was it 2011? 2000, it was 2010. Jason, <laughs> Jason, Jason was, wasn't born. Oh, okay. It's like a few months before I got pregnant with Jason. If it wasn't for that trip. Yeah, we were at the brink of like, we were done. Like, we, we didn't have any kids, but we were done. Like, completely done. Brian was out of work. I had just lost my job. We had to move out of our apartment that we had together. Um, we were done and so I had some money. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna plan a trip. We shopped to South Padre Island. We were out there what for the weekend? And like everything came to perspective. Like we knew that that's when we knew that we were gonna make it work and that we wanted to be together. But like any relationship, we have ups and downs. Like we could be good for a month. Well, y'all don't see me on the vlogs for a while because I just don't want them to do it. Yeah. And I respect that. Like if he doesn't want to be on the vlogs because he's not. In that mindset, it. then he's just not gonna be there. That's right. But um, Thank you. we've come, but we've come so far because under okay, this is so. Here's some things that can help you because she wanted advice for young couples. I don't. I would say. I fuck up your relationship. Oh my god. I would say the main thing is communication, and it's so cliche, it's so corny, everybody's, but honestly, it really, really works because. How is he gonna know what I need, and how am I gonna know what he needs if we don't talk? I like we just mean. mad at each other. You deserve rounds tonight. <laughs> anyway, we just you have to communicate that because you have to let the other person know how you're feeling, what you need from them. Jason's peeking his little eyes through the through the door. <laughs> Bye, Jay. But yeah, you really have to you really have to um, listen to what oh, each other needs boy. and then go off of that. So like if he needs space, give him space. Like don't be all up on him asking him what's wrong or nothing like I hate that. that. I can't do that with Brian. I have don't to like give him wrong. space. 
and then he'll come when he's ready he'll come talk to me about whatever's wrong um the second thing i would say is um affection and time like you have to show each other affection but you have to know how the other person shows affection and how the other person receives affection because i show affection to brian differently i'm very touchy-feely uh i'm very nurturing toward him and i want that back but that's not how brian shows love brian shows love by providing by giving you a high five no you don't how you show love to me how do you feel like you show love No, he's just, he's just a good, Brian's a very good friend. Brian's my best friend. And so you have to figure out how to love each other and how to receive love and communicate that. It always goes back to communication. But I would say like with young love, it's, man, young it's a love, bumpy it's road. Man, it's whatever, man. Yeah. If you're in a relationship, you don't want to be there, man. Just don't be there. Yeah, don't force it. Simple as that. If it's meant to be, y'all get back together. But if you, if you were like our close friends and you've been on this ride with us, you would have been like, yo, like y'all yeah, are together. Been. Like how did y'all make it? But I'm, I wouldn't change anything. All the ups and downs, I wouldn't change anything because they got us right where we are right now. And we are happy. We're still in love. Uh, it's going on three years that we've been married. Six still years that we've been boy, together. Though. No, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. Right? But yeah, that's all the questions. But um, That's all the questions? Yeah. What? I'm about to put somebody on blast. No, I don't put nobody on blast. Well, one of our friends, you know who you are. You know who you are. Was supposed to send us a question that he said was epic. And we epic ain't got no question. question. Epic so, question. He said it was going to be epic. It's going to have to go on the next Q&A. He'll, he'll come. And matter of fact, we'll get him on camera asking a question, doing a whole interview himself. Yes. But um, just to give y'all a little background for our new subscribers who don't know us. I don't think we've ever really put this information out. But yeah. my name is Sade Nicole Reyes. I ain't putting that out. You don't have to. Nope. My name is Shadi Nicole Reyes. Um, I'm 25 years old. Uh, I was born in New York. <laughs> Jason's, Jason's cha cha in the corner. But I was I born like in New York. Cha -cha. I was born in New hey. York and I was raised here in Texas. Um, I used to dance. I used to be a dancer, which Brian makes fun of all the time. Um, yes. And what, what about you, Brian? I'm the real dancer. I'm 29 years old. Don't let the hairline fool you. I'm about to be 30. Uh, one of my biggest insecurities, I hate shaving my head. I don't know why his bald head bothers him because I think it was shaving crazy. my head. I just want my strong hairline back. He said his strong hairline. I want my hairline to come back down here like where it used to be, you know, and then like, that's what I want. Yeah, I want my hairline to be so strong, I can't even let my eyebrows grow out because it'll connect. <laughs> Anyway, It'll I think his head looks good. What was I saying? Like, um, sorry, y'all, but the camera had cut off. Yeah, our camera had cut off. Uh, what were you saying? Oh, oh no, but I was just saying, um, you know, guys, you yeah, thank you for okay, subscribing. Okay. It's crazy that we are at 200 subscribers. Like, I can't believe people like actually want to watch us. But um, don't forget, guys, we're still doing the giveaway. It ends at the uh, end of August. And um, the remember the rules are to make sure that you're subscribed to us, to make sure that you're following us on Twitter, and then also to make sure that you get another one of your friends or family to subscribe and then comment below any of our videos yeah, um, to let us know who sent, you know, that you I have a YouTube thing, but I can't comment because I have to do a Google Plus, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. Um, I have so y'all can interact but with, interact with no Brian. no writing me on there because I barely get on it. Um, and then other than that, we're going to have another Q&A live, in person, yes. with with one you of our good who. friends. He knows who. He knows who with his epic questions. Yes. And, um... Oh, okay, we have to go back to, um... Oh, Warren's question. Warren's question. Most what was y'all embarrassing, embarrassing moment? I have it. I have it. Because, all right, so we were living in these complexes, in an apartment okay. complex. Get behind me, Bubba. And, um... 2011 and our neighbors they were from New Orleans and um, you know they asked hey you know want y'all come over we're gonna have a crawfish boil so it's like cool you know we got our neighbors you know it's gonna be fun L let's go ahead and do it so we went over there and then you know started off as a crawfish boil and then we start playing spades drinks come out you know shots yo Jay's back there and then um, 
Hey Jay, go to the room real quick, please. You don't even have to edit that. Yeah, I'll just do no, the flow. Yeah. Huh? Okay. You heard that? Yes. You said your breath smells like monkey boo boo. That's your breath. Do it really? A little bit. <laughs> okay, but yeah, the shots came Jay. out and um. I see you. Jay, go sit down. He's like trying to listen to the conversation. And but then, anyway. Um, Go, go sit down. And then uh, we went to the crawfish bar and uh, we started playing cards. We were drinking shots. You can and speak up. Everybody was drinking. Oh, he's not. And then, guess who wants to be the drunk guest? I this drank one. way too many. I had like 10 shots. And with the mix of the seafood and everything, it was sausage, shrimp. Crawfish, potato, corn. Daddy, I'll get you some in a little bit. I'm also gonna finish too. And all that mixture with the alcohol. So she was like, man, I'm not feeling too good. So they was like, go ahead, you can go to the bathroom. She was, no, she asked, can I use your bathroom? Yeah. Why did Sade throw up all over these people's bathroom? But I passed out. <laughs> in the bathroom. And then, you know, yeah, that's a more embarrassing moment for her. But as we weren't even married. Yeah. And we weren't even married. And at that moment, it was kind of like I was embarrassed too because I was like, man, these people invited us over for a nice uh, gathering, you know. Well, what happened was the lady of the house, she was just throwing back shots. So, you know, as a guest, I don't want to turn down no shots. So I'm taking shots, throwing them back. And, and I wasn't look. feeling, I, no, honestly, I didn't have to throw up. I needed to use the restroom. So I went to go to the restroom and all I remember was just sitting down in the toilet and then the next thing I remember was waking up in our bed. <laughs> it wasn't just throw up on the, like in the toilet. It was throw up was like, it was like, like Sade just, like she threw up and then she picked it up and like, ah, I don't want to smear. And like, he said, I, was, he said I fell asleep, money. I was, I was and asleep then, on the bathroom floor. They were like, what's taking her like, so what's long? What's taking her so long? So we go in there, she sleep on the bathroom floor. So I had to pick this lady up take her to our apartment. And thankfully it's in the same building, you know? So I, I drop off in bed and guess what B did? I went back to the party. Yeah, he went right back to the party. I went right back. I kept drinking. And this was like five, some, what, like five, six in the morning? Yeah, I can't, no, you, you? No, no for you. Oh yeah, I, we went back, man, you know, it was just um, his friends and some family. Majority of them were from New Orleans. Um, man, the food was, Amazing, was man. We gotta good. find that, man. Like, I know. I gotta see if his numbers but are But it was so phone. embarrassing. So, like, anytime I would see her, she's like, hey, girl. I was like, And then, hey. guess who never got an invite back? This one. <laughs> I, I did. did. I, I got an invite. Hey, B, you can come down. Never did they say, y'all. like, this drunk girl. They never said, y'all come by. They and y'all, if y'all know me, like, I do like to drink, you know, like, party or whatever like that. But it's never to that extreme. Like, I... Don't know what happened. They never said, they never say, y'all come by and have some drinks. They always say, hey, bro, hey, why don't you come down? Yeah, I you never know, got throw something yeah. back. And then Shadi's in the back, like, huh, me? Yeah, me? Can I come? Loser. No, you can't come because you be messing up the bathroom. But that's our most embarrassing. Eating up all the gummy bears. <laughs> But yeah, guys, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank and you. Well, um, that's, the, that's the most embarrassing moment, man. That was more like for me. Us. And then that other time that she didn't, uh, she thought she was buying herself and she farted. No, that was the first. That and was you, the first time I farted in front. Why are you saying all my embarrassing moments? Because I don't have no embarrassing moments. Because I don't get embarrassed. I just do what I do. I can't think of anything right now, but I'm gonna think of something. I'm gonna make a whole video about Brian's embarrassing moments. How about you don't? How about I? You see how she's trying to be funny with the other little dude? It wasn't funny, was it? Y'all laughed. Y'all laughed. Hardy hard. Nobody laughs like that. Nobody laughs like Hardy hard. Hardy hard. Mm -mm. That's like that's like when Dracula said he doesn't say blah blah blah. Bye. See, you thought that was funny, right? No, it wasn't. I told you she's so you corny. You're corny. You're so corny. Alright, okay. y'all. All right, come on, come and say your closing statements. Come on. Come say bye. Oh, you love the camera, boo. He does. Tell them about your sleepover. How was your sleepover? Tell them. What the heck? Tell them how you was sleepover. How was your sleepover? That's so much. What did you do? Um, I was going to sleep and I was doing basketball. Oh, yeah, y'all play basketball. Where else did you go? Um, I go in the. 
Look at the camera. I go in the... Always in the pool. In the pool? Who was and your friend? Who came over? A Bryce dude. Yeah. Not, not Jay. Oh, uh, Jay didn't come. Just Bryce. And what else? Did y'all have snacks? What else? Tell them. Um, he was eating... What else? He was eating food. <laughs> I love this dude. But yeah, guys, right. if you are new to our channel, welcome and thank you for subscribing. And we really hope you guys enjoy the vlogs. We see you later. And then, guys, if we don't make any more that was vlogs, the end. no. And then, guys, if we don't, if we don't uh, make any more vlogs, it's because they cut off our electricity and we can't charge the camera. <laughs> Stupid, bye, y'all. <laughs> But when you gon' start right You got them thoughts that touch the globe But you too far sighted To reap them harvests of them seeds You need to plant a few But then again it all depends on what you plan to do